Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Just Breed. Today we're in the land of confusion, or illusion. Yeah, basically we have to fight five clones of ourselves, and um, then get this solar armor, and then we can move on. The way to make this really, really, really easy is to equip the Horma Ring, because you'll be regaining 10 HP per round, and your opponents won't. Then, you don't even have to use magic to heal up your, um, your party. You can pretty much just stand around, regain all your HP, and then go over and do another slugfest while they're healing themselves with just Horma, which only heals about 30 HP, and then you're just bashing the crap out of them with your spear. Hopefully you upgraded your weapons before this, because if you didn't, you're in for a world of hurt. Yeah. Uh, but this is basically how you do it. You just heal up between battles using your ring, you stand around, you fight them, and then you move on with life. Um, as you can see, the further I went into this battle, the more, um, the more I got better at it. Yeah, and since there's only this one guy left, you can use Bunshido, make multiples of yourself, and that's it. But hey, we get the solar armor. Well, I've got all that taken care of. Oh, okay. So after all this, I am the hero? And who are you? And what's the just breed? You're not going to explain what the just breed is. You're going to name the game after that. You're going to tell me that I am the just breed, but you're not going to say what the just breed actually is? Like, that makes no sense! Uh, okay, whatever. Oh, okay, well, we kind of already knew that. Yeah, so am I. Oh, okay. Hey there. Oh, actually, no, I am not fully prepared. What I want to do is, uh, get my equipment in order by going through and disequipping everyone. All these little, um, I don't know, no-name people. Disequipping all their stuff and selling it all. You can keep things that are actually on your generals, but everything else from all the other people, sell it all. You will never use them again, and you will need the money. So I'm gonna do that real fast. Okay, I got all that stuff taken care of, so now everybody's naked, and I almost have 60,000 gold. So yeah, it was completely worth it doing that. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm ready. Let's go. And now they actually join my party, so if, like, I wanted to grind with them or anything, I couldn't before. Eh, it's kind of crummy, but, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, wow, well, here we are. Yeah, and your party follows behind you like this. It's kind of weird. I don't know, it reminds me of Dragon Quest IV and, like, the wagon, you know? Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, the Just Shield. Nice! Uh, that's a pretty decent shield. It's the best shield that we can get for people who don't, like, have really good shields. And the Just Armor. That's a really nice piece of equipment for, um, Hans. Anybody can equip it, but I like giving it to Hans. Over here we have an inn that we can use. I don't need to use it, but keep that in mind for later. Because, as usual, we will be coming back down here after each battle and using the inn in order to rest, so we can go through all these battles and use as much magic as humanly possible. Speaking of magic, if you try to use Strim and teleport out to go to any other towns, you can't! You're completely screwed and stuck here. So let's see what we got going on here. Um, yeah, there's some decent stuff, but nothing that I care about. You might want to buy some Herb 2s um, for healing purposes. I mean, they're so cheap and you have so much money. It, it would be nice. Tower shields! Definitely buy those for everyone uh, that still needs those shields. Silver armor, if you haven't gotten that yet, make sure that you pick that up for all of your characters as well. And then over here, um, the only thing that I- oh, no, 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 no! The only thing that I really think that is actually worthwhile buying is the Tornado Axe. So what I'm gonna do is go through and buy everything that I need for all of my characters, get all their equipment up to where I want them to be, and then meet you in a minute. Okay, I got all that stuff taken care of. I also went to the item shop and I bought six ales and a couple life herbs just because. The ales you can use in battle and they will increase your attack power. They're pretty nice. 
Let me just go over my equipment real quick. This is what I just have for everybody. If you really want to look like in depth, you could just pause. Um, it's pretty much just the best stuff that I can have for each character. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is what my items look like. Herb 2, some ales, some other junk that I still haven't sold yet, so who really cares? I don't really need the money anyway at this point. So, yeah. Let's just head on over here for battle! There are two battles on the first floor. Both of them are essentially mirror images of each other, so... Um, I would highly recommend doing this battle first, going inside the left-handed room first, because you can get some very nice treasure from, um, defeating this room, and there aren't that many enemies in here. Do not be afraid about using all of your magic. Something that's very nice about those tornado axes is that they actually go and they hit all adjacent enemies. Not, it's, it, it's not just, like, the ones that are adjacent, it is every single one. If you're surrounded by like five enemies, you will hit all five of those enemies with that Tornado Axe. It's very nice. Uh, Orloff's Jupiter Axe, his ultimate weapon, does the exact same thing. So yeah, that's very, very good. Also, Han's got the Bunchido spell, and I love that spell. It's so handy, but it's incredibly handy on him because he's a bow user. And that means that, you know, most of the time whenever you use the Buncito spell, it's like, uh, I would say maybe two or three attacks at most actually get through, because of just range. But because he's a bow user, every single one of his attacks are going to go through. Like right there, uh, Duval used uh, Buncito, and only one attack went through because of the range issues. Um, also, as you are going up towards this green dragon that has a shit ton of of uh, HP, use your ales. What you're going to find when you use an ale is that it raises your character's attack power. You're going to find an exclamation point next to their attack, and that signifies that they have an attack buff, and it will like double their attack damage. It's very nice. Use Lydia to heal because, quite honestly, she's pretty much useless. Her um, her attack magic is pretty much non-existent. She's pretty much only here to heal. Also, she has the least amount of attack power um, from, of all of your party members. So yeah, she's pretty much here as just your heal bot. Um, and then have everybody else just surround this guy. Since you have tornado axes, you can actually attack him from a diagonal. It's very nice. Use Buncito if you still have it. And then just wail on him. Hey, we got him. Let's go get some treasure. That was the MP ring and the light sword. The MP ring works just like the Horma ring insofar as it regenerates your MP by 10 points per turn. It's very nice. It should be equipped on one of three people. Your hero, because he just has a ton of MP and he's very versatile and can heal and all that kind of stuff and use really nice attack power. And he also has a really high attack power for his Muncito. Also, Hans, because Hans can heal. Um, he can heal right up there with Lydia and he can use Buncito. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of MP. Or Lydia. If you want a dedicated healer, stick the MP ring on her, and she will have healing for days. Another thing that we got there was the Light Sword. The Light Sword isn't so hot. Um, basically, you equipped it, its attack power isn't good, it's like 30 points less than Tornado Axe. Um, but what it does is it attacks all enemies on the screen. But at this point, it's attacking them all on the screen for roughly 10 to 15 damage, which really is not cutting it. Switch your speed boots around so that you're able to um, get to these monster dents as fast as humanly possible. I've been kind of using them on Roland to get over to the den, and then I take them off a roll and I put them onto somebody else so that the other person can get over to the den. That's the best way to use those speed boots. Again, Lydia's healing. Against this guy, we're using Buncido. Um, at this point, yeah, David has plenty of MP. What I'm gonna do is take off his MP ring so that David can still use his Buncido, but then put that MP ring on uh, Hans because he's low on MP, and I would really like for him to use his Buncido because that Luna Bow is insanely powerful, and uh, yeah. He can get all four of the hits in from the Buncito. It's just so nice. 
surround these dragons. Utilize every single trick in the book that you have to surround them because they will wail on you with their tornado spells or their fire spells or whatever that they have. So yeah, feel free to just go all out because again, you're going to go to the inn after this is done anyway. So yeah, with that we get the Just Spear, which I'm going to go ahead and equip on David. And next time on Let's Play Just Breed, we're going to continue up this tower and fight the final battle. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.